Hey everybody, it's Katie. I know it's been another long month where I haven't gotten to upload anything because I've just been a busy bee. Um, a lot has gone on over the past month that uh, I just, I don't even know where to start. Um, well, let's just start out. This is my 11 month post-op video. Um, I was kind of concerned over the past month because I felt a little funny. Um, I knew something wasn't right, I just couldn't figure out what it was, and I didn't know if maybe it was stress or something like that, um, but I knew something was going on. So a couple nights ago, well I noticed I wasn't losing weight at all. Um, I did my relay for life, and I walked 20 miles that night. So, I mean, walking 20 miles, eating right, exercising regularly, I should have been losing some weight. Unless I was just in a decent plateau, which happens, you know, so I wasn't really concerned. And, you know, I'm getting really close to my ideal body weight for my height so I figured maybe my body's just leveling out and it's going to take some time to lose that last 15, 10 or 15 pounds, you know. So I went on and on and I realized that there was just something that wasn't feeling right. Well, um, let's see, what night was it? It was like Wednesday morning. Yeah. I woke up with the worst headache I've ever had in my life. Now, I had a headache going to bed um, Tuesday night, and I knew that it, I don't normally get headaches, so I, I knew something had to be going on that was, it could have been a front moving in. That was usually the only time I really get headaches, but when I woke up Wednesday morning about 3 o'clock, I knew something was wrong because it felt like my head was going to explode. It felt like my eyes were being pulled into my head. Um, my whole body ached all over. And I said, Alan, I think I need to go to the hospital. Because obviously no doctor could see me at that hour. Um, so I went to the hospital where I had my surgery. And they did um, a CAT scan. And all that came back fine. Um, they checked my urine. Also, I know this is kind of gross, but I noticed my urine was smelling really bad. And I figured that I might be going through ketosis. Normally, you can get through ketosis through many different ways. And just to cut it short, ketosis is how your body processes burnt off fat. Um, at least that's what I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But sometimes you can get it through bad breath. You can get it through body odor, which is how I normally get it. I know, TMI. Or you can get it through your bowels, through gas, or your urine. So I knew that something wasn't going right. So they checked my urine, and they said that there was a severe urinary tract infection that was going into my kidneys. So, yeah, I had a kidney infection and a severe urinary tract infection which they said will cause my body to retain fluid, which is why I haven't been losing any weight. Um, somehow, even though my body was retaining fluid, I was dehydrated. I don't know how that works, but I'm not the doctor. Um, so they gave me an IV, lovely IV, and um, they gave me two bags of IV fluid. So by the time I got home, I had gained another six pounds in fluid. Luckily, about four of those pounds have left my body now. Now granted, it is about time for Mother Nature to make her appearance, so I'm, I'm sure that I'm retaining water even more right now, as it is. I haven't gained weight, other than that boost from the IV fluid. I haven't gained weight. I've teetered between like 185 and 190, depending on what time of the month it is. Um, currently
currently I'm up to that 190 point, which I really hate to be at because I worked so hard. And when I was down to 185, I was so happy. But, um, you know, because my goal is like 182. That's pretty close to my goal. Um, actually, my overall goal is 175, but to put me inside a healthy weight range is 182. So I'm not really going to go too all out when I'm not exactly extremely overweight. I still technically, yes, am overweight. Um, I've got about, you know, eight pounds to go before I'm healthy weight, according to the FDA or whoever sets the BMI scale. Um, I also have gone through a job change, which is hard for me because for those of you that don't know, I work for the mentally handicapped of, well, the mentally and physically handicapped of Ohio. I work for the state. I love my job. Um, I have great clients, people that I take care of, and I help them achieve independence um, by teaching them different life skills and working in different ways to teach them life skills, you know, whether it be helping them learn to count money by going on special trips um, or helping them maintain balance by making them stand up while we're fishing or bowling. And um, A lot of people say that my job is a cake job. Not really, but I can understand how they would think that. Um, I do do a lot of really fun things with my job, and I don't work a lot of hours because the job pays pretty well. But over the past two weeks, I had to um, change around my schedule to where I actually lost about half of my income, um, when really it's only 12 hours of work, but um, it is hitting me financially pretty hard, so I am stressing about that, and I know that your body hormonally goes through a lot when you stress. Luckily, I don't turn to food when I stress. <laughs> Um, I have been exercising quite a bit, trying out new videos. Oh, by the way, I have been attempting the flirty girl workout, the Carmen Electra. It's like, um, like stripping. <laughs> OMG, my legs were hurting so bad. Um, it is a good workout. I think, and I had fun doing it, and my son actually, luckily they don't really take their clothes off, because he actually exercises with me, <laughs> my little three-year-old. Um, you know, we had a big family get-together at my house, so I've really had a lot on my plate lately, and finally I think my body just kicked over and said, stop, and I stopped. So luckily I've been on antibiotics that are like the size of horse tranquilizers. They're ginormous. But it appears to be working. The fevers have gone away. I did fever quite a bit. I was getting up to like 103, 104. I was miserable and I've never had headaches like that. And anyone who has a migraine, I don't care if you're my worst enemy. I really don't wish that on anybody. Um... I am going to just kick it into high gear. I have one month to go before my year. Whether I can lose eight pounds in one month at this stage in the game, I mean, if I do, I do. If I don't, I've lost like over 130 pounds. Almost, well, right at 130 pounds. That's a person. Tonight I was at a viewing, and I had three people think I was my 18-year-old sister. I'm almost 27. Do you know how great that made me feel? <laughs> um, my sister and I kind of look a lot alike. I think it's our mannerisms, but these were people that knew me through my husband who thought they were talking to my sister. Hadn't seen me in a while, so that felt good. I'm running out of time. I'm sorry I haven't updated lately, but as you can hear, I've been kind of busy. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to ask. Um, look me up on Facebook. I love getting the Facebook ads. I'll talk to you guys later soon. Bye.